Hi, this is Stephen with a short video on calculating market growth. Calculating market growth is important because many marketing projects and other investment projects have paybacks of far over two years. And so you're looking way ahead to where the market is expected to be versus where the market is right now. So you need to kind of look ahead and forecast hitting a moving target. So calculating market growth i.e. the market size down the line or at some point in the future is a key skill. So new product development teams and any other flanker line extension teams will be studying the category at some future point, not right now. In terms of calculating one year growth, it's relatively simple. What you're gonna take is 100 times the difference between the market at that future point and now divided by the base year sales. In other words, the market size before we even started right now, in other words. Okay, so if you take a look at this calculation, I hope you'll see that after one year, you're supposed to be at 1.23 million. Right now you're at 1.1. So what's the difference? 1.23 minus 1.1. Okay, multiply that by 100 and then divide that by the base year sales or 1.1 million. You will end up with 11.8% as your growth rate. Pretty simple, I hope. Admittedly, calculating multi-year growth is a little more complicated. So you will be probably tempted to look at the overall growth over that time period, 100 times the difference, and that, of course, will yield 14.5%, and that is the overall growth. But the communication error can often happen, or interpretation error, if you're asked for the average growth per year. In other words, if you take that 14.5% and divide it by 3, you'll end up with 4.84%, and that would not be a correct number. In fact, this Kager formula is using a rather unusual format. In other words, the end amount or ending market amount divided by the starting amount or the initial market size over an exponent. Yeah, very rarely do we use exponents in marketing math, but this is one, an exponent where one over n, where n is the number of years. So in this case, because we have a three-year projection, the end amount divided by the beginning amount, the 1.26 million divided by 1.1 million, we would put that to an exponent of 1 over n, and if n is three years, that becomes 1 over 3, which is one-third or 0.33. And if you use that, and yes, Excel will do this with the little top hat symbol you can reveal by using shift 6, you'll see that the Cumulative average growth rate is 4.6%. So I do encourage you to give this a try. There's a site that Excel puts up because it's lovely that you can do this in Excel because many calculators won't do little funny exponents for you. So I understand this is not a typical math calculation. However, it's an important one to know because you really want to get the annual growth rate correct. Thanks. If you have questions, leave them or ask.